Okay, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the backyard theater here. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a portable movie screen um, for projecting and uh, doing backyard videos. And you'd be amazed about the uh, quality that you can get from uh, this is my standard setup, just that I'll leave up most of the year. Um, it's just a 10 by 20 white tarp stretched on a uh, galvanized steel conduit frame and uh, it works great I mean you you can't um, you can't beat the quality of what you get once it gets dark outside it looks like you're sitting in a movie theater I was, I was overly impressed with how good I think as long as you really don't want to use gray as long as you have um, a dark environment if you have kind of a semi dark environment let's say you had street lights or something like that then Maybe a light gray might be better just so you can get the contrast. But out here in the country, I can it gets pretty dark at night. But uh, even when it's just starting to get dark, uh, it's, 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 it does really well. I mean, for outside projecting, you're going to want a uh, projector with a good number of lumens. I mean, you know, over 15, if not up to about 21. Uh, but um, it does good. So, But most of these parts can be purchased at... Uh, you know uh, this uh, website called creative shelters and you know for this one that can hang on the back of your deck um, it's got a you know four corner brackets and two t's and it's just 10 foot sections of stainless steel conduit easy done deal one inch not stainless steel i'm sorry galvanized conduit i always say stainless steel but they don't make stainless steel conduit but anyhow that's uh that's what you but i want to show you how to make this portable we've done some stuff i think uh I've got some videos where I was at a game stop and uh, so we're gonna I'm gonna show you how I make this thing stand up on its own what I was talking about making this screen portable is all important because of this little device right here this comes from creative shelters it is a adjustable T and what this allows us to do is to make adjustable legs so if you look kind of close here basically it'll go to almost 90 degree but it'll pivot up this way pretty much straight and what this does is when we make the leg for the screen you come on a little closer the um, it allows us to make these adjustable legs so here this big box here is where my screen will be and I use three of those adjustable T's and that basically makes allows me to make an interlocking adjustable leg whatever height I need to the ground behind and once I get it adjusted then I can just tighten up the bolts and it will stay there. So that's kind of how you make a, and we'll have three legs on the screen. I did add an additional piece down here at the bottom. We'll go over this all one more time once I stand it up, but uh, see it a little bit better. But it's essentially now we've just added, before it was the original box. Now what I did was I added an additional piece to get it up off the ground and then we're adding three adjustable legs. And so, these legs will give it the support that it needs to do what it needs. Now we've got it stood up. As you can see, it's up. It's supported by the legs, and so we've got to do some adjustment because of the ground level. Uh, I've already brought up this corner a little bit. I'm going to bring up this corner here a little bit. You don't really want to change your uh, your square where your tarp straights, but you have adjustment in the legs where you can bring this a piece up here. So I'm going to just bump that up a little bit more. And then tighten my bolt back down and then we can start adjusting the legs so that has uh, the shape of the screen as level as we can and now we've got these our legs to adjust we're just going to shoot for getting it level as level visually level as possible i think with some extent you don't have to have it perfect but adjust this off that off. It should be up to kind of push my leg down there. There we go. I think, camera lady, how's that look? Is that pretty straight up and down? Right, so now that we got everything uh, level, all our legs are adjusted to the ground. Just got to tighten off the last few bolts here, just tighten them back up so it doesn't slip out of the square. And then. Our adjustable legs are done and the frame is up. So all we have to do now is hook back up the movie screen and so we'll just 
just uh, spread the tarp down on the ground, lay the thing down on top of it, and then stand it right back up, and then use some uh, anchors to hold it to the ground. Screen is back on now. I think uh, it's got the uh, 44 ball ties is what it takes. It's, uh, it's a heavy-duty um, white tarp, so... Uh, you can get it also at Creative Shelters. Basically, everything other than the stainless steel conduit and the ratchet ties uh, are available at Creative Shelters. You can find it some other places, but uh, you really can't make these little brackets right here probably for about, it costs you almost the same price as to get them from them, so, except for maybe the shipping. Uh, another unique feature thing they have is this, uh, this anchor system. That's an aluminum Y with uh, nine inch spikes that go in the end of each piece and uh, man it holds a lot of weight. They're actually I think designed to hold down airplanes like in an airplane field. Uh, well worth the adjustment you know the price because uh, you can use a you know a good 750 pound ratchet tie and really crank it down and uh, know that it's not going to go anywhere and so but uh, you can see here Screens, you know, got a little bit of lean back once I ratchet it down, but I mean, that won't matter. Uh, but like I say, the legs are adjustable, so you can adjust for each, you know, the ground level. Uh, the frame's also adjustable up to so many inches. Uh, you know, if you have unlevel ground, really unlevel ground, you can uh, adjust it even more. But, you know, make you can just build your frame different. But uh, uh, that's it, guys. And I wanted to uh, show you, I may try to get a little bit of footage uh, when we're having uh, movie night tomorrow night, we're going to show uh, Star Trek Into Darkness and let you kind of see what that looks like at the dark. Then we'll put this on uh, YouTube. Have a good day. Get a one more close look at all the, the different brackets I have. There's a 90 right there. There's the adjustable T. There's a T. Goes up to another adjustable T. And then a 90. And so in the center, we have the T in the center, the adjustable T, of course, for the leg, uh, a, you know, a plus, and then another T. And then the other side is the exact opposite of the first side. Of course, you know, each leg has the three adjustable T's. So there you go. I will personally lead a landing party to an abandoned city on the surface of Kronos where we will capture the fugitive John Harrison and return him to Earth so he can face judgment for his actions. All right, let's go get this son of a bitch. Kirk out. Captain, I believe you have made the right decision. If I can be of assistance, I would be happy to accompany you on the away team. You. Happy. I was simply attempting to use your vernacular to convey an idea. Thank you, Mr. 